Hey everybody. Okay, so after some intense waiting on my part, I finally was able to get the new Space 1999 Mark 9 Hawk from MPC. This is the new large scale, 148 scale model. This is a brand new kit that came out. Uh, it's 15 inches long as uh, opposed to the 148 Eagles that are about 24 inches long. So I can't wait to uh, get into this, build it, and uh, display this next to my Eagles. Um, this is uh, 107 parts. Let me show you the box art. And uh, let me tell you guys, I definitely, um, I got this a few days ago, and I've been wanting to open it, but just for you guys, I have not opened it i wanted to do that on camera um this ship was featured in one episode of the entire series called war games and it's been very famous in the uh, sci-fi uh realm of space 1999 so okay let's open this baby up and see what uh what it comes with and I want to be careful with this. Make sure I don't uh, cut the box open. Just a uh, just a plastic. I'm trying my uh, GoPro on my head here, and I hope this comes out all right. And da da da. Taking my time with this, guys. Okay. Don't cut my finger. Okay. Let's take a look and see. Oh boy. Getting excited now. I have uh, built a smaller kit, and that one's pretty good. This one was, like I said, a brand new, a brand new kit that came out with. So probably, hopefully, it's easy to put together. I don't plan on lighting this one. There's no interior, and you know, and even in the episode, there was nothing glowing out of the engine. So I'm just gonna, at least for this first one I do, just gonna put it together, paint it. Okay, so. Here we go. Nice big uh, page of instructions here. And this is, if you can believe it, one single page front and back. That's it. So this looks like it's uh, pretty simple. Which is nice, really nice to see. All right, let's take a look at, um, okay, fine. Let's look at the decals. Cause those, uh, I do paint. Um, and as I've drawn up Eagles or as I've built up Eagles, I should say, I have um, done more painting in areas and less decals. Um, the paint does in the whole realm of everything look better as long as you're able to do it correctly so it's it's really a balance whatever you feel like taping off and and you know just a, an area that's black and you just want to tape it off like like uh, you know, for example the cockpit these areas here I mean you can uh, you just paint those you don't have to use the decals that wouldn't look too bad just painting them so you're able to make it look nicer in some ways and of course other ways the decals look nicer so you, you just you know use your judgment on what you're going to do so here we go and this is um a lot of small ones just like in the small kit a lot of small decals but that's okay a lot of these maybe we can just paint orange 
And like I said, a lot of these could, could be just be painted black, or you can use this. Their uh, MPC's decals are usually pretty easy and don't tear apart too easily. So here we go. So we have the stand with the metal rod, standard. We have this bag with the cockpit and some engines. Okay, we've got another bag with uh, wing parts, uh, parts on the top. And we have this one here. Oh, there's some clear parts. Take a look at that. Ah, the windows. These are the windows. Okay, nice. And it is nice that the main section of the ship is just one piece on top, one piece on the bottom. That is sweet. That is nice. I like that. I like that. So the seam work would be in the center, and that's always helpful. I have nice big pieces that come together instead of like having this small piece and inserted here, etc. So that's that makes it easy. That makes it easier. Um, this doesn't look difficult at all. Uh, so this might be pushed up on my build list a little bit because, um, you know, there's not a lot, not a whole lot to it. I'm going to assume that this hole right here is for the stand, but I'll figure that out. And let's take a look at the instructions one last time. So you've got... Uh, The engine bells here, the cockpit here, some more engines. So, body part of the of the rocket engines, then the then the nozzles, both halves. Got these wings coming together. Like I said, these two main parts come together. This little piece with the window, I guess, goes underneath here. Nice. So. Yeah, guys, this isn't uh, this isn't too bad at all. I'm um, pretty excited. So there's no no interior, no cockpit. Um, maybe a little disappointing, but we never really saw what the cockpit looks like in the show. So just makes it easier. No pilots either. I mean, of course, I'm sure someone out there will do some ridiculous um, interior design to this, and that'd be nice to see. And, uh, well, that's it. That's what you got, guys. I'm assuming this bottom piece here, the way they do their kits now, they show all the decals here on the inside of the box and the colors. Dark gray, orange, white. There's only like a few colors. Silver, dark gray, orange, and white. So that's that's pretty neat. It's pretty easy to uh, to handle. And hopefully, there was always some trouble spots in the smaller version of this kit where it was hard to get everything that's orange to be orange um, without messing it up with glue on parts that go like here you know you have this part here that goes into here and and if you're not careful you'll mess up the paint job because you're trying to glue this little piece here this little piping whatever that whatever you want to call that and um, okay let me just see one last thing on the bottom part there is a little spot here maybe they put a laser wow let's see is that in the instructions here yeah it looks like it part 103 looks like they have a little tiny speck there that probably is the laser or the laser emitter that uh, is seen in the episode that wasn't in the small kit so I guess they decided to put some little piece there uh, pretty cool all right guys that's uh that's it for now for the uh, unboxing. I will. I am so far behind on updates, guys. I've I've uh, I haven't modeled in a, in a bunch of months, and been really busy with work. But um, I've been going through my stuff, and I really, really, and there's been a bunch of new releases that have come out, and this is one of them that's really, really urged me to get back into this and start building again. Because this this is going to be pretty. This is 
fairly simple, nice large model. I can't wait to do this one. This is going to be nice. So, all right, guys. Until next time, um, we'll uh, I'll have some other unboxings for you that I got because um, I got a whole bunch of orders. This this uh, beginning of 2022, a bunch of new models came out, both for Star Trek and Space 1999. So, I'm excited. It's going to be a busy year. All right, guys. Uh, take it easy till next time.